Okay, so I'm going to talk to you about the UEN K-12 Center. Notice you get here by going to UEN.org and in the upper left hand corner you can click on the K-12 Student Center. When you're here you'll notice that you have research tools here that you can go to online research tools. In the middle you have learning searches. Learning searches is where you can actually go in and pull information from websites, activities, television programs that are tied to the subject area and the grade level that you click on. So like if I have language arts and elementary fourth grade, I'm going to click on this and hit go. And you'll notice that it actually brings up quite a big list of, of uh, different sites that you can go to on language arts in the fourth grade curriculum. Underneath this you actually have Featured Resources, which is your Homework Helpline, UEN's Homework Help Center to find the help that you need. And this is so that students can go in and get that help that they might need on their homework. Below that, you're going to have links and references. And the top site is Top Websites for Students. And here you're going to have like Bill Nye the Science Guy, um, Read, Write, Think, that are really good resources for students. Then I click on Utah Information, and it comes to different resources for Utah like Utah counties, Utah National Parks, and uh, WaterWise Utah, or Utah Digital Newspapers. That is an excellent resource for going and getting any newspaper ever written in, in Utah. Great, great resource there. Under the next category, World Resources, you have GPS information, and then mapping resources that are really good for students to see. Internet-related websites, you have the six compelling reasons for using the Internet, NetSafe Utah, NetSmarts, and then uh, you have multimedia resources. And this is a great place to go for students to find pictures, sounds, video clips, audio clips that they can use in their multimedia projects. And then the last category, interactive projects and activities, just has some student interactive uh, things that they can do. Notice down here in the lower right-hand corner, students can type in a teacher's first and last name and find out where that teacher is. On the left hand side you have a link to Pioneer Library. Right there they can go right in and find that. I want to finish up by just telling you about student interactives. When I go into student interactives you'll see that K2 has very basic uh, sites that you can go in here. So ABC's reading, listening, writing, and when I click on reading you'll see that it then breaks down into the different categories for reading and that you can do. Now understand UEN does not create these resources they just link to them and any resource that they link to learn to read requires flash and so you have this little icon on here that that you might see that you need and all these act activities actually require flash on your computer let's go back in and let's check the K3 or the 6 through 6 or 3 through 6 interactives notice here I'll click on math and and over here late delivery it actually requires shock player and so you'll notice that, that you, you can go in and look at these different things and each category look here you have algebra fraction measurements geometry patterns money data integers estimation and so all of these different categories just fabulous for reviewing the process that you need and then finally we have the 7 through 12 interactives and this one really is just just got tons of things in here for science, health, technology, arts, language arts, brain games, math, and social studies. Really, really good. I'm going to go into brain games and just look at you have the different categories. Puzzle, puzzling puzzles, brain benders, strategy games, memory games, and all of them. Just really, really good things for, for students to use. And you can come in and look at all the different resources that you have. Students can access this in school or on their home computer. This service is brought to you by UEN, Utah Education Network. Thanks.